back everybody. It is a Saturday. Saturday, May 2nd, I believe. And we've got a lot of work to do this weekend because usually during the week we don't have a whole lot of time. So, I don't know if you guys can see out there, but it's not a super beautiful day, but it's not raining like it has been. So, so I cut these up. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I charred my seed tray, which actually turned out not too bad. I mean, I think like you guys, I thought it was going to be a big mess, which it's, it kind of is, but over time that'll go away. to say that I got the seed trays done. Let's go have a look at them. It took me a little while. I mean that charring, I don't know if it was really worth it, but I think it was. It did take a long time. My screws were definitely way too long, but that's all I had. So I tried to make the best out of it and put feet on there. Anyways, it ended up really working all that great. So I would make sure that you have the right screws. But other than that, here they are. wet um, so instead of just hitting them with some uh, old vegetable oil or some sort of sealer I just gave them a rinse down and that's going to take the charring off make it a little bit easier to work with so just hitting them with a little bit of water that just takes the powder stuff off that's on your fingers other than that it's not that bad to work with and I mean now I've got something a little bit more sealed you know, maybe some microbes will find their way in there and and then they can transfer over to the seedlings. I don't know. They're going to experiment. But they're done, so... And I got lots of them, enough for our garden, I'm hoping. Avril's inside trying to figure out when we got to sprout these seeds. I think we're a little bit late on some of them, but we're getting started at least. Alright, on to the next one. <laughs> 